Hello and welcome to www.papre.com, the leader in uh, sports. I have uh, the two Abe Singer brothers who were victorious at the SARC Games with me here. Uh, congratulations, boys. Uh, now, first of all, uh, tell me, I got to know that you all did come down to Sri Lanka five years ago. Uh, before we go into your victories, I'd like to know how difficult was it to adapt to Sri Lanka, coming back here and uh, getting adapted? Uh, well, we were both born in the U.S., so, and we lived there until, I mean, it must have been easier for him because he didn't live in the U.S. for that long, I think, until he was like nine. But I lived there until I was 14, so I was pretty used to the U.S., so... Uh, when I first came here, it was took me a little while to adapt, but after a while I got used to it, and I actually like Sri Lanka more than the U.S. I like the people more. I obviously like uh, the opportunity that I have to represent my country, which I might not get if I was in the U.S., so uh, I'm really glad that I did move here, and uh, I mean, it worked out for the best, I guess. Really, that's always good to hear. And uh, Carl, now your, your brother, your older brother, has won seven medals. Okay, now that's a big uh, expectation to live up to. How are you planning to counter that out? Uh, working hard. That's it, basically. Working hard and uh, just doing what he did, basically. He just worked hard and he's mentally tough, so I just want to be like him. And hopefully I can get it done. But from what I've observed all this time, okay, a little, the two, three hours that I've hung out with these two boys, the younger one seems to be the bossier one, am I right? <laughs> the bossier one, uh, I don't know about that actually, out of the four of us, I think he's the most mild-tempered one, so I think he's the least bossy one probably, but I mean, he's good and I hope that one day he passes my record, not too soon, not until I stop swimming, but <laughs> after that he can pass my record if he wants. Brilliant. And uh, now, uh, talking about the SAR, SAR Games, this, this was your first time uh, uh, competing at the SAR Games. How was the experience and uh, uh, what did you take off from that Games? Uh, well, I've been to a lot of international meets. So I, I do have, uh, I mean, since I was 14, I've been going to international meets. So I've probably been to like 20 by now. But you're right, this is my first South Asian game. Uh, sorry, yeah, South Asian game. So uh, it was different than other meets that I've been to, I think it was a lot more, I think, competitive, maybe because it's between Sri Lanka and India, and India is known as the superpower, and Sri Lanka a bit smaller, much smaller, obviously. And uh, I mean, it was really fun. It was really intense, the entire me, and uh, <laughs> beating India in the 4x100 freestyle relay definitely was huge for me after we hadn't beaten them in 25 years, so that was, uh, that's my, most, as I said in my speech, that was my most fond memory that I've had uh, probably so far in my swimming career and definitely from the South Asian Games. So uh, it was an amazing experience and I can't wait until the next one. Brother, the wha why I did ask you about the SAR Games is that when you normally go for a meet, it's mostly swimming only. But here you go with a huge contingent of people where with other sports dis disciplines. How was that experience for you? Uh, that was kind of amazing because I've never been on a tour. I've only been on two tours and this was my second one and the first one was uh, Junior World Championships and that was just swimming. So going with a huge contingent of like 500 people that's pretty cool because before it was just six, six of us at Junior World so pretty cool. Nice, okay and uh, Matthew I know your t uh, pet events are 100 and 200 freestyle, am I right? Yep and uh, uh, you are working towards Olympic qualification and, uh, and your best timing, personal best, I believe, is 50.86, am I right? Oh, brilliant. <laughs> okay, uh, what is the qual Olympic qualification mark and uh, how soon are you hoping to achieve it? I know the SARC swimming festival is around the corner. So is that one of your targets? Well, uh, the qualifi the, my best time is 50.86, as you said. Uh, the B qualifying time is 50.67, I believe, so I'm pretty close. I'm only about a tenth off. Uh, in the 200 freestyle, it's 151.8, so I went 152.1 I went 152 .1 at the South Asian Games, and that was, uh, I have to admit, I went hard on the first, first 100 of the 200, obviously. Uh, the third 50, I, mean, I, was, I was with the Indian on the first 100, third 50, I... I burned him and I beat him by as much as I could. I beat him by about two body lengths, so my third 50 is really good. And then the last 50, I knew that I had two more events. I had the 100 butterfly about 15 minutes after that, and then I had the 4x100 freestyle today, which I really wanted to win for Sri Lanka. 
another 15 or 20 minutes after that. So uh, I kind of took it easy on the last 50, and I went 152.1. The qualifying time was 151.7, so I was only half a second off while going easy. So I know that in the future, when I have the qualifying time, qualifying meet, sorry, uh, I can definitely get the qualifying time easily. The thing is, I just want to see how far under the qualifying time I can get. And uh, the actual qualifying meets, there's a couple coming up. There's like a bunch of different qualifying meets. Uh, we have until, I think, June 22nd to qualify for the Olympics. So you mentioned the South Asian Swimming Championship. That's actually after June 22nd. So I'll, I'll be aiming for that meet, obviously, but that won't be one of the ones that I'm trying to qualify for the Olympics. So uh, I'm going to be going to, I think it's called Dubai International Open. It's a really good meet. I think the Indians are participating there as well. They're, some of their swimmers are trying to qualify for the Olympics. So Indians, Japanese, a lot of people come there. So there will be a lot of comp good competition for me to compete against. And then also the Japanese Open, which is a very, very fast meet. So I'll have a lot of really good comp I won't be the fastest swimmer at that meet. So, which is a really good thing. I'll have a lot of competition, and uh, hopefully I'll be able to get really far under the Olympic standard marks. Definitely, the stiffer the competition gets, the better your timing will be, yeah? And uh, now, Kyle, you are, you're just 15, I believe. Uh, or six, 16. 16, yes. Uh, and you have so much of years in front of you. Now, um, as far as uh, your swimming is concerned, when are you planning on getting the Olympic qualification? Are you, are you looking at it in a short term or is it a long term goal that you've set for yourself? Uh, well, as soon as possible. I mean, I went 51.2 on the relay for the 4x100 relay and that's like about half a second uh, faster from when you do it individually. So I, my individual time would probably be like 51.8. So I have to drop a second and a half, and that's pretty hard to do in like the amount of time that's left. So hopefully I can do it, but if I can't, then you know there's Tokyo, and after that, and after that. So and you have so many years in front of you. So and uh, I'm I'm pretty excited for both of you because it's very rare from uh, this subcontinent we get we get very uh, short distance swimmers. Mostly we do get long distance ones. Is that, am I right? I mean, that's correct, yeah, but as I think that, I mean, as I showed, I won seven gold medals in different events, different strokes, different distances, so both of us are pretty versatile swimmers. So, for example, he swam the 400 freestyle at the uh, at this Games, and he, he got the bronze medal, and I hold the national records, the Sri Lankan national records from the 50 to the 1,005, so 50, 100, 200, 400, 1,005, I hold all of them, so I can swim, sprint, distance, anything, so... It just, it all depends on what I like and what I want to train for, for what I'm going to try and qualify for the Olympics for. So. Brilliant, boys. It, it has been absolutely amazing speaking with the both of you. I'm not going to keep you uh, uh, any longer. You've been in Stoke for about three hours now. Thank you so much for joining with Papa.com. We hope to speak to you very soon, as soon as you achieve your Olympic qualification, which will be hopefully, fingers crossed, within the next month or two. Yeah, uh, thank you very much for being with us. Have a great career ahead then. Thank you very thank much. You. Thank you. Bye-bye.